If you're using 4G or 5G broadband, you might be wondering, is it worth using an external antenna with your router? In this video, we've performed three different tests to compare the performance of 5G internet on its own with small bunny ear antennas and with a bigger outdoor externally mounted antenna to see what the difference is between the three in terms of download and upload speeds and latency as well. But before we begin, make sure to click the links in the description to the routers and antennas we've used in this video on Amazon to see what they cost at the moment. So just a quick note before we begin, we'll be using the 3 network for these tests because they have the best 5G speeds in our area and also to ensure a fair comparison. So the first test we'll be doing is with the TP-Link Archer NX200. This is a 5G router sold by TP-Link for normally about 200 to 250 pounds. It has two external antenna ports, but it doesn't come with any antennas. So the first thing we did was run a baseline speed test with just the router set up as it comes out of the box with no external antennas. With this setup, at close range over Wi-Fi, we get a download speed of about 350 megabits per second, sometimes a bit higher, and normally an upload speed of about 10 to 15 megabits per second. So now we're going to install some bunny ear antennas on the router to see if this improves our download and upload speeds. We actually stole these antennas from our GLINet GLX3000 router, which we'll be using for another test later in the video. You can find them separately on Amazon, so we've linked to these in the description, but we haven't personally tested this model. To install them, you just pop off the external antenna cap on the back of the router and then screw them in making sure they're screwed in all the way. Then fold the antennas upwards and make sure to restart the router if it's not already off when you're doing this. Then we put the router back where it was and ran some more speed tests. With the bunny ear antennas installed, we noticed a decent increase in our download and upload speeds. We began getting above 400 megabits down on a consistent basis and our upload speeds went higher towards 20 to 25 megabits or so, sometimes dropping down to 15 to 18. And our latency was also really good, normally about 25 milliseconds, even over Wi-Fi, which is quite impressive for 5G internet. The next test we did was comparing the performance of the 3 5G hub to their 5G outdoor hub. With the regular 5G hub, they send you a ZTE MC888 with an unlimited data sim and no external antennas. But if they suggest the 5G outdoor hub, at your address, you can check this at their coverage checker, which we've linked in the description. You get an Eero 6 router and this external antenna you can install on the outside of your house. Once the outdoor hub is on the outside of your house, you can feed its signal inside into the router using the supplied ethernet cable, which is designed specifically to be fed through a window and then to have the window shut on it without damaging the cable and without letting any air in. This is the easiest, cheapest way of getting set up with 5G internet in the UK at the moment with or without an antenna and the whole package normally costs just about £20 a month. So with the regular 5G hub we normally get a download speed of about 250 to 300 megabits per second and an upload speed of about 18 to 20 megabits. On the other hand with the outdoor hub with this external antenna installed on the outside of our house we get more like 500 megabits per second in terms of download speeds and an upload speed of 45 to 50 megabits, not to mention a 5 millisecond or so reduction in our ping, even actually lower than this, using an ethernet connection to the router. So with the 5G hub, we saw about a 200 megabit per second increase in our download speeds, switching to the option with the external antenna. But this isn't a perfect test, because this Eero 6 router is different to the ZTE MC888. So there's one other test we've also tried, So for our final test, we took our GLINet GLX3000 with all of its bunny ear antennas installed and ran a baseline speed test. Similar to with the TP-Link Archer NX200, we get a download speed of about 300 to 350 megabits per second and an upload speed of about 10 to 15 megabits. Then what we did was remove all of the bunny ear antennas except the two Wi-Fi ones and hooked up the Waveform Quad Mini. This is a 4x4 MIMO antenna which we've linked to on Amazon in the description, which you can install on the outside of your house 
basically the exact same way as the 3 5G outdoor hub does. We used the included suction cups to mount it on a window and then fed the cable inside using this window access cable which you can shut in a window without damaging it and without letting any air in and then we hooked it up to our GLINet GLX3000 router making sure to match up the different cables with the correct antenna ports on the router using this guide on the waveform website. This whole installation process took less than an hour and when we were done we were getting download speeds of about 500 megabits per second on average peaking as high as 600 megabits and while our upload speeds and latency weren't as impressive as using the 3 5G outdoor hub they were still really good a decent improvement especially in terms of consistency compared to just using the router with its bunny ear antennas. The problem is 4G and 5G antennas can be expensive although the 5G outdoor hub isn't really especially given there's no upfront cost. So do we think they're worth buying? The answer is yes if you can afford it. For us we normally get a 50 to 100% increase in our download speeds using an external antenna compared to using nothing at all and we usually see a decent improvement in our upload speeds and latency as well. The cost is considerable and the installation process is a bit involved although both the antennas we've installed have been pretty easy to set up it just takes about an hour or so and for us in terms of cost and effort they're definitely worth it. So thanks for watching and remember click the links in the description to the antennas and routers we've looked at in this video as well as the 3 5G hub if you're looking for a cheaper all-in-one 5G broadband solution and if you have any questions about using 4G or 5G antennas or about wireless broadband more broadly leave us a comment and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.